What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Simon Tech once again with yet another mining video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the RX 5600 XT mining performance, and specifically, we're going to be looking at the XFX variant, the RAW 2 version with the 6 gigabytes of GDDR6. Now, something to note here is the 5500 XT. Uh, you can get a, a an eight gigabyte model of that and the 5600 xt is more the long along the lines of the old 1060s where you can only get a six gigabyte model at the top end for memory so that's something to consider i also out of the lot of cards just to note real quick that we picked up the only card that came with samsung memory was the 5500 XT and that's from Best Buy. So if you're going through Best Buy, maybe check out whatever's left over uh, on the 5500 XTs for that Samsung memory because that thing's killing it pretty good for the the amount of power that it, that's going through it. So we'll go over that in a comparison video later. Make sure you let me know if you're interested in a comparison video between all these cards for hash rates, etc. But without further ado, let's hop into it. I defeat the bears. Okie dokie, so here you can see we have the system running and what's one thing to note here real quick is that it's about a two and a half slot card. So it's not really like a three slot card, but you aren't gonna be able to put some, you can put something in the next, essentially the next uh, full PCI rail, but you aren't gonna be able to put like any additional in between. So if you're putting this into a mining rig, um, you aren't gonna to wanna to have this as one of the cards that's mounted in the main rail, probably use something, you know, with a single slot or a dual slot, most commonly a dual slot. And that's just gonna be important to take a look at. That does mean, however, that the cooling potential is quite good. We have a dual fan design and we do have, I believe on this particular card, let me double check. Yep, we have active cooling on the memory chips. So as we've mentioned before, active cooling on the memory chips is going to be advantageous. So uh, this card in particular will have that active cooling on the memory modules. And that's something to keep in mind when purchasing uh, GPUs for mining because it's going to just be better in general if you are actively cooled and not passively cooled on the memory. Speaking of memory, it's GDDR6, 8 gigabytes like we talked about before. And moving on from there, we have some stats for you. So it is a PCIe 4.0. So if you're looking at gaming and you want the latest uh, protocol, you do have that here. The game clock is up to 1560 megahertz and boost clock up to 1620 megahertz with 2304 stream processors. The memory bus is 192 bits and the memory clock is 12 gigabits per second while the memory size like we mentioned before is six gigabytes we're going to keep stating that because the dag is getting bigger and bigger you also want to keep in mind right now four gigabyte cards are going to be out of mining ethereum by the end of the year so december 2020 is the estimated date that the dag will reach above four gigabytes so start dumping those four gigabyte cards and start getting at least six gigabyte cards eight gigabyte cards are preferred of course um the 5600 is not going to have that however the 5700 xt which is a little bit more expensive does have that option we'll go over mining performance on the 5700 xt as well but just keep that in mind that that's where we're sitting at now for outputs you do have hdmi 2.0 b and display port 1.4 so, you know, you're up to 8K HDR 60 Hertz output. That doesn't mean this is gonna play games at that. That just means you have that output, kind of like the new consoles. And you have three of the display ports and one of the HDMI. Power requirements has an external eight pin. And it's interesting that they actually didn't update the page here. <laughs> so I had to go do a double check on the specs here uh, because they did say that it takes another six pin. As you can see on the rig right here, it's a single eight pin. So I think they may have copied something over on their spec sheets from the 5700 XT. Um, but I have confirmed obviously that the memory bus and all of that is correct. So moving on, let's get into the benchmarks. So 
what do we got here? We have quite a few <laughs> different things to take a look at. Uh, once again, we're going through a ton of different coins and a ton of different algorithms. We are going to be talking about it from the perspective of the most profitable coin uh, on that algorithm and then giving you guys the hash rate and the power consumption. Now, I did notice I was having some discrepancies between the kilowatt and what hardware info was showing and what gpu z was showing so i am not super solid on these power numbers but i am super solid on the hash rate for all of the hash rates we did do minor overclocking and power adjustments we drag the power down all the way as far as we can until the hash rate goes down then we go a tick up okay that's how i do any kind of overclocking now as far as on the memory we go up by 25 megahertz until the hash rate went down or the system failed to continue mining so one of those one of those two things happening and then we didn't touch core clock at this point um, if we do have coins that lean towards core clock most of those i'm going to tell you probably just going to go to nvidia as it is right now at least until the maybe the rx 6000 series if you're interested in coins for amd that i think are good and you want me to make a video on that let me know down in the comment section below without further ado let's get into benchmarks all right sons quick correction on all of my power math it has been messed up we are trying to go off of hardware info and it's all my fault you got a comment you guys are correct it's asic power is total board power however there is additional power going on through the system i was trying to confirm with kilowatt but being that we are running or were running a 3900 xt on that particular rig the kilowatt was also having trouble calculating power consumption basically due to the fact that that 3900 xt uh, spikes in its core clock and definitely spikes in its voltage when you leave it stock with PBO. So we're talking about basically like a huge power spike that can be up to like 50 watts that are taking over uh, just for the CPU out of nowhere, which was making it hard for me to calculate everything. Uh, right now what I'm trying to do is get a hold of maybe like the PCAT, testing kit that nvidia has or just find a different alternative if you guys know an alternative that can help the testing out let me know down in the comment section below i think i want to move away from the kilowatt and then for now ignore all of my uh, power consumptions because they're off and then we'll go from there apologies and we will get it sorted by the next video adios First of all, we have Aon. So with Aon, we are getting 185 solutions a second. And that was at a projected 243 watts in hardware info. We were not able to turn the power consumption down for Aon, unfortunately, without losing hash rate. So this is the max hash rate at max power the projected revenue on this would be 40 cents a day and after power costs you would be at a loss of course go check on what to mine with those numbers and then continue on from there this is just kind of an idea so you guys know where it's at today as of making the video and so on and so forth moving on to the next coin we have beam with a hash rate of 18 solutions a second about and we actually had really high power consumption here according to hardware info where we were at about 259 260 watts i'm not completely sure that's correct because when we were looking at for example uh the kilowatt the total system power was not high enough for that to be pushing so we definitely have some uh power consumption reading issues going on and i think it has to do with the asic power plus the core power being a little off uh, that being said you would generate about 82 cents usd a day uh, coin wise maybe we should start telling you guys the estimated rewards so that would be 0.000089 uh, beam I believe is what it is uh, no I'm sorry that's <laughs> Bitcoin duh uh, nice hash always getting in my way here 
always nice hash getting my way. So if you're directly mining beam, it would be uh, 3.2 beam um, estimated reward every 24 hours with an 80 cents revenue. And it does come out to being profitable at this time, even with the uh, high power consumption that we put into what to mine as the calculator. The next coin is Ethereum, everybody's favorite. And you will see I was like, question mark, blah, blah, because the power consumption I have reading uh, from the rig that's running uh, 5600 XTs right now is showing those cards running around 105 watts. And that was confirmed uh, with, of course, the kilowatt, as well as doing all the math to pull out the system power or the idle system power and here what we saw was it basically saying between core power core power was at like 175 watts and memory power was at like 9 or 10 watts which means we were at like 200 watts and i don't think that's accurate at all now for the overclocking on this one i've come to find that the 5600 xt is pretty standard you can knock the power consumption down to negative 20 and you can bump the memory up to 1825 megahertz and pretty solidly maintain anywhere from 30 8 to 39 38 to 40 mega hash a second which is really really good at the 105 uh, watts that I'm showing on the rig that I have running on Hive OS. I'll also leave my referral link for Hive OS down below if you guys want to check that out, as well as you know the Amazon links for the, this particular video card. Now at that we get a projected daily revenue of a dollar thirty-six in USD, and we would mine about 0 .005 ETH per day on a single 5600 XT. Pretty good stuff. Now keep in mind there are also lots of things you can do as far as vBIOS modding and so on. We'll be going over that in a later video and I'm fully aware of the existence of it uh, just so we can calm down some of the co comments. But of course you can leave me some links to resources and so on down below. And of course come hop in the Discord to discuss further. Next we have Grin. For green coin, we got 0.23 GS, and we were at like a whopping 165, about 160 to 170 watts. Uh, this is these coins we're getting into now are super super inconsistent with power consumption and pretty inconsistent with hash rate as well. Um, what I found on this particular card is it ranged anywhere from 0.2 to 0.23 GS. Uh, so not as bad on Grin. And the power consumption though was still kind of all over the place. For Grin, you would see an estimated reward of 0. 0.0000, <laughs> a lot, <laughs> five, seven Grin uh, or Bitcoin a day, <laughs> but you would get 1.9. So about two Grin a day um, coming out to a revenue of 55 cents. And even after power, uh, you would still be profitable uh, at this time. So grins an option if you guys are a fan of the coin. So next we have Haven and for Haven we were around 628.9 I believe hash a second. Yep, correct. And our power consumption went down considerably. We were around 120 watts, which is fantastic. And with that 120 watts you would come out to dead even on Haven Protocol. You would not make any money. Uh, your revenue would be 55 cents a day, and that would net you about a quarter of a grin, or a grin, a quarter of a X, XHV uh, every 24 hours. Now for the Monero, um, I don't actually have the, it looks like we missed the screenshot for Monero. Uh, I don't remember the exact hash rate, so we're going to have to go uh, pull that real quick. Let me see if I have it up anywhere. Da, 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 da. Maybe we named it, uh, we probably named it XMR or did something crazy like that. Nope, we just don't have it. 
Well, I can tell you that it's super not profitable. And if you're mining Monero, you should go mine with a CPU, like a 3900 XT that we'll also be doing hash rates on for you guys here soon. And that is the random X algorithm. Um, your estimated reward in Monero on this card would be 0.0006. And I believe the hash rate we had up to about, it was around 700 again, or no, sorry, it was around 600. Um, the 700 is coming up. So next we have, Mon yeah, no, never mind. Here's Monero, and it was 700. I'm correct. And we do have the screenshot for it. Just something weird happened there. Uh, 702 hash a second at about <clears throat> 114 watts. Still not profitable at all. Next we have Raven. And on Raven, we are pulling 20 mega hash a second at about 138 watts. And for Raven, we would see a, an estimated daily revenue of $1.03 with a profit margin at the current average for the United States of 55 cents. And we would get about 83 Raven coin per day. Oh, an oldie but a goodie, Mr. Ryo here, Mr. Fire Ice. On Ryo coin, we were hitting, which is Crypto Knight GPU, by the way, and probably one of the coolest uh, algorithms, I think, just in general, because I'm a GPU miner, and I love that as an option. We came, came out to 1,575 hash a second. Pretty amazing. Uh, you are going to have to make sure that you specify with any of these Crypto Knight coins that you specify your memory modules at 2 for the 5600 XT. We'll go over details on that in another video. Make sure you let me know which videos you're most interested in down below that I've mentioned so I can put the priority direct. Uh, the first things we're going to be doing is getting all of the GPU numbers out for you guys so we were at only about a hundred and i think it was like 110 watts yeah 110 111 watts and with that you would be profitable with a revenue of 73 cents a day and a profit of 16 cents a day you would get about 80 ryo coin or ryo currency every 24 hours Next we have swap, and on swap, um, this algo is weird, and it definitely seems to be a little bit more along the lines of favoring Samsung memory. The reason I say this is our 5500 XT completely destroys the 5600 XT on this particular algorithm, which is gonna be that C29 BS, Kakaroo 29, 6G or whatnot, Kakaroo M29-6G, there you go. I don't know, sometimes these al algorithms get a little crazy, especially the Kakaroo, because there's so many of them, and it's named Kakaroo. You expect me to take you seriously, guys? Come on. All right, <laughs> anyways, you're, about a, you're at about 141 watts, and with that, you would not be profitable on swap, you would get about 13 cents a day in revenue with estimated rewards of 4.8 swap per day. Okie dokie. So a more fun one, we have Zcoin here. Zcoin's always favored Nvidia, just a heads up on that. But on this particular card, we were getting about 1.7 to 1.8 mega hash a second, which is pretty good. And of course we did mess with the overclocking just like we did with all the other algorithms. And we are around 160 watts, exactly. So with that, you do still come out with profit at 15 cents after power on the average you know, price for the USA and a revenue of 56 cents. The estimated reward is 0.14. Z coin per day. That's the MTP algorithm for anybody that needed clarification on that. As far as Zell Cash, uh, we had 27.6 solutions a second at 125 watts. With this, you would end up with a profit at the current average power cost in the USA of 24 cents with revenue daily of 52 cents and your estimated reward in Zellcash would be 22 a day. 
So that pretty much wraps up all the algorithms and our test suite. If you think that we need to add in another coin um, to the test suite, please let me know down in the comment section below and I will consider it. I feel like with the live stream in the community, we talked about the most important coins and these were kind of the ones that we came up with. That being said, not all of them are good and I wouldn't back any of them, you know, wholeheartedly. Uh, they are just currently the most profitable on the respective algorithms and those algorithms are really what we're trying to cover all of our bases with. Some algorithms are, you know, we're not even giving, giving a shot to and I may be pulling Monero out. I just like to keep Monero in because I like to run CPUs on them and I like to have, you know, the CPU hash rate out and ready for everybody to check out. So come check me out every day, twitch.tv slash blind run, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. If I wake up on time, <laughs> we had some stomach issues last night and we did not wake up on time today, but we did get a short stream in. So go check that out. We're gonna be doing a lot of benchmarking over there for the foreseeable future. And that's gonna include both gaming as well as hash rate because there's a lot uh, or as well as mining so uh, you'll be able to see a lot and that's because i enjoy graphics cards and we're back to testing them so welcome to the to the gpu channel all encompassing gpu channel and i'm excited for the rx 6000 series so you know hopefully we'll see that anyways if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like leave a comment hit the subscribe button come join us in discord and i'll see you next Tuesday.